Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Today's mission is um, outdoors, the sun, sunscreen specifically in the sun. I, there's a lot right now going on in the media about is sunscreen dangerous? And uh, there's, uh, I mean, from mainstream media to, uh, to of course, these, the, all this alternative health uh, emails and everything, everything from, from the health ranger, I mean, to literally mainstream media now is, is asking, is sunscreen really safe? Is sunscreen really necessary? Now, here's my general rule for sunscreen that I've used for years, and I got this from Gary Null. Gary Null is the uh, holistic nutritionist from New York City who's written over 100 books and has had his uh, natural living show for over 30 years on, I don't know, uh, on WBAI, um, the longest running health show. Um, I'm a big follower of Gary Null and ULL. And here's what he recommended that I've been doing for years, okay? And my kids do this, my wife does this. In the beginning of the year, when we go out to lay in the sun, to, to absorb the sun rays, we start out at five minutes. Then we build it up to 10 minutes and 15 minutes. And, and, and as the days progress, you build it up. Now, I go out in the sun, I'll sit in the sun for a full hour in clear blue sky with the sun shining on me for a full hour. I've done that several times this summer. Okay, I don't get burnt. I don't use sunscreen. None of my family uses sunscreen. You've always used this rule. You work your way in. Now, here's how he explains it. <clears throat> okay, you want to build your body in. You don't want to jump right in. So you don't want to lay out for an hour and get burnt. When you get burnt is when you damage your DNA of your skin. Okay, over years, that damaged DNA that repeats, uh, that, 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 uh, that keeps reproducing, that's where you might have a problem for skin cancer down the road and, and, and you know, long term down the road is a damaged DNA reproduction. He also says the same thing when you put hot food in your mouth and you burn your mouth. That's the equivalent of getting a sunburn on your skin is how what Gary Null claims. When you burn your mouth and you burn the roof of your mouth with hot food, that's like a sunburn. So, of course, avoid burning your mouth with the hot, hot food. So. <clears throat> yes, there are indeed chemicals in sunscreen, and you can look and Google this. There's cancer-causing chemicals in sunscreen. So the question is, is the sunscreen more dangerous than the sun? In my belief, I believe it is. We need sun. We need vitamin D. Sun, you know, so sun is a very powerful, uh, <clears throat> a very powerful thing for us to harness its energy. The sun is something you don't want to block. The sun has vitamin D. We can do solar power. We can do photovoltaic. Um, the sun sparks life on Earth. Imagine if we put like sunscreen on plants, you know, to block, you know, the, the, the potentially healthful benefits of the sun. So, you know, it's just a matter of it's it's just what companies have come up with. You know, some kind of gimmick, some kind of um, some kind of uh, it's, it's basically revenue for companies. These, these these sunscreens and and they don't really care about what's in the sunscreen. It's just a matter of saying, well, let's just block certain rays of the sun. And, and let's leave it at that. It's like a vaccine. We're not going to prove that a vaccine has side effects. We're only going to prove that a vaccine produces antibodies. The same thing with a vaccine. We're only going to prove that it blocks the rays of the sun. Let's not worry that it has cancer-causing chemicals in it. So, of course, there are more natural sunscreens. If you're, if, now, if you want to use a sunscreen, like something like coconut oil has, like I heard it has like anywhere from an 8 to a, to a 15 SPF on it, just organic cold-pressed coconut oil the one that you cook with and put on your skin. I heard that works very well. I've used it here and there. I use coconut oil every day actually on my skin and on my and my hair especially. Um, so sunscreen, I believe it's a scam. I believe it's not necessary. If you use the sun responsibly, if you expose yourself responsibly, there really is no need for sunscreen. So uh, avoid those cancer-causing chemicals. If you must use sunscreen, Definitely look for a more natural sunscreen. Go to a health food store. Um, ask somebody at the health food store to decipher the label for you, help you with the label, and make sure that you're not putting harmful chemicals on your body because it just doesn't make sense to put these chemicals on your body. Your skin is your largest organ. Your skin absorbs everything. So you anything you put on your skin ends up into your bloodstream. It's just as simple as that. That's why walking barefoot on like new asphalt and things like that just don't make sense because your body is going to absorb that in. You're, even the bottom of your feet walking on asphalt. I see a lot of people walk the, walk on fresh asphalt all the time. I'm like, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You know, walk on the lawn, walk around that. Put shoes when you get on the asphalt. So um, now the only time that I would really use sunscreen is if I was, if it was in the middle of the winter and I was going on a vacation somewhere. Um, 
like to the tropics and I was gonna go sit in the sun for a full hour right off from day one, then okay, yeah, that's not being responsible. So I'm talking about using the sun responsibly. I'm not talking about being irresponsible. I'm talking about using sun, not using sunscreen and being respons as a responsible sun user. Okay, now, but there's been many times that I go away, you know, in the middle of the winter and I go to Arizona, I have a conference there every year and I'll go get full sun. I don't sit out for an hour, but I'll start out at 15 minutes. Um, 20 minutes and then I'll work my way up by the, by the last day of the conference or my third fourth day I'll be able to sit out in the sun I go out and run first thing in the morning so I get sun exposure for a full hour um, not full sun exposure from like two o'clock in the afternoon but early in the morning when the sun's just rising so I work my way into it I'm chef Marcus Giuliano um, be cautious of sunscreen thank you for watching this video if you like my video please hit like subscribe to my channel and definitely pass it on and get over to my site chef on a mission blog.com with all my other websites like uh, truth in menu aka foodfraudtv.com um, 50 mistakes.com which is my restaurant consulting site which any business can log on there and get free uh, business coaching restaurant coaching uh, no sam no farmed salmon.com where I talk about all the dangers of farmed salmon. There's some good, powerful documentaries on that uh, on that website. And I have a couple other miscellaneous websites like crazymountainruns.com. I'm a runner, so uh, in my area, I've mapped out all the hard, challenging mountain runs. And anybody's welcome to join me on these runs. In fact, I've got my running shirt on now, my running gear. I'm getting ready to head out for a run at 6, at 6 a.m. here in New York on, on a Friday. So uh, thanks for watching, and uh, check out check out all my uh, check out all my websites.